So I'm curious, like how many of you would like to actually hear some of the activities that it takes to be able to get past rock bottom now that you framed it in this really powerful frame of mind? So what are the actionable steps that you can take to make this your comeback story? That's what we're going to dive into next. Because once we attack this from the mindset level, reminding ourselves of what we're fighting for, then we probably want to know what are some of the steps that it takes to actually be able to do this. Now, I kind of shared a little bit about my rock bottom of giving it all to my career. And I was really struggling for a long time with my physical and mental health. But once I understood the mindset behind who I was fighting for, which was my son, my family, myself, I realized that when I showed up and took action myself and and poured into me, it actually allowed me to pour into so many other people, including my work and my career. But there were some actionable steps that I took that made that possible. And we want to dive into that today. It's time to redefine leadership. Welcome to Modern Leadership, where we see things differently. Our channel is all about empowering entrepreneurs like you to achieve the next level of success in business and life. We believe that you can create a massive impact in the world without compromising your personal life or family time to do so. We're committed to providing you with actionable tips and strategies weekly to make that possible. So if you're ready to become a modern leader and make a lasting difference in the world, consider subscribing. Turn on notifications and dive into our community. We want to thank you for being here because the world needs your leadership now more than ever. Let's go. Before we begin, I do want to like talk about this a little bit logically. And here's what I mean. There is a reason why we're currently at where we're at. And when you think about this, this is trying to teach you that lesson on what is this thing trying to teach me so I can try to do something new that I've never done before. When you hit rock bottom, your brain might go into, oh, well, I, this is the thing that I should do. And it's very similar to what you've done in the past and you've tried it and maybe you were excited about it, but you know that it didn't work. If it didn't work, we have to ask ourselves, how do we try something new that's completely different than the thing that I tried last time? So I like to break this down into three steps, okay? These are three steps when it comes to the action that you can take to really start coming back and creating that, that comeback story, right? Number one is, step one is always ask for help. Meaning there's people who have come before you. There's people who have succeeded in an area that you want to succeed. There's people who have developed resilience, have felt the pain, have hit the rock bottom. And anytime you can, like you want to ask them for advice, for direction, and just be around supportive people. Now, this doesn't just mean everyone, because there's some people who will like literally just say, oh, no, it's okay. It's okay. Just you're, you're perfect just the way you are. And we all have those support people in our lives, but they really don't push us to actually go out and to change our lives. So I'd highly encourage you to find someone, a mentor, a team, a person, somebody that's going to help push you a little bit, but also who's maybe a few steps ahead of you and has been able to do things and succeed in an area that you want to succeed in. So how do you think finding someone will actually help you when it comes to getting you to take action? So I want to throw that to you. So how do you think seeking friends, family, people that actually are going to push you a little bit. How do you think that's going to help get through that struggle of rock bottom? Yeah, I mean, we all have someone in our lives that is kind of like a safe person that we can lean into that can help us through some of these things. You don't have to do this alone. That's that's one of the main things, I think, of this message is that when we hit rock bottom, we feel like we're all in this by ourselves. And that's not the case. There's always someone who is willing to help and who is happy to help. Um, so think about that person. Think about like who, who's been there for you before, right? Mm-hmm. You know, we we all have those friends or family members or someone that um, has been there for us and you can seek their support. And even if there may not be anybody in your life, there are tons of other support resources that are out there. You just have to look for them. Yeah, I love that. I love it. I love it. And and some people may ask, like, at what point do I know that I actually need some help? And I'm just going to cut to the chase here. And that is like, if you're asking already, the answer is already. You already should ask for help. This is one of those things where if you're thinking about asking for help, it's actually like way past beyond when you should have. Because that first time that struggle comes up, that first time that thing comes up, right? If I had asked for help then, I would have never had to go through all of the things if I had been willing to ask for help. I remember this really powerful quote by Les Brown. He says, ask for help, not because you are weak, but because you want to remain strong. So when you ask for help, not only does it help you because you get the help that you need, but remember how the other person feels when they're able to push you, they're able to help become a part of your story and get you to show up just like that true potential that you have. 
It's a gift that you get to give them, but you also get to give yourself. And that's a great quote because it even, um, you know, talks about like how you shouldn't even wait for that rock bottom to hit. Mm -hmm. Right. Because when you know that you're like, okay, like this is getting crazy, like Mm -hmm. I need to ask for help. That's when you ask for help. It's not like after the fact. Yeah. And, And some of you guys may have already hit rock bottom. I mean, I did too. And you haven't asked for help. This is not to shame or guilt you or to beat you up around that. It's so that the next time that it happens, you jump in and you ask for help. And you don't have to wait until it gets to this point. I kind of share with you, like I hit rock bottom several times, including this one time with my son, Andrew. And like that was an important part because it got me to realize that I need to ask for help earlier. And that's why I use this as a way, not only of helping solve that initial problem, but being able to not have any problems like that in the future because I'm able to ask for help before I need it. So that's always step one when it comes to getting out of rock bottom. Ask for help. Don't try and do this alone. Step number two is thinking about things on the short term, right? Now, what initially happened to me the first couple times that I hit rock bottom, which didn't change my life, is I started to think about, I'm going to change everything that I've ever done. I'm going to think about Five years from now, I'm going to be this really great ripped person who's like really fast and able to catch suspects and doing all these kind of things. And that lasted for about three days. And then I would get back into what? Like, I I can't change the way that I eat, change the way that I exercise, change the time that I spend with family and do all of these things at once. And so I was trying to bite off more than I can chew. Mm -hmm. And so what I highly encourage you to do is what I did in the beginning, which is just take baby steps. Ask myself in the short term, what's the smallest action that I can take? that will help me start leading the path towards where I want to be. I like to have vision. I like to think about where I want to go, but I also like to reverse engineer it into the small habits. And so for me, it was like exercising. Like I didn't necessarily change anything with my food. I just wanted to take baby steps to know that I could actually put a checkbox in the mark of I'm doing the things that I'm saying that I'm doing. Here's the thing. You build up so much confidence when you just say, I'm going to do this every single day and it's a small thing and you start doing it and you realize I can do this. As opposed to, let me change the way that I'm eating, change the way that I'm <laughs> like thinking. everything at once, then change the way that I'm thinking, change the person that I am, change, you know, and it's like that doesn't happen. And if it does happen, it happens for a couple of days, maybe a week, and then you go back to your normal behavior. And so step two is always thinking about what are the short term things that I can do? What are the small actions, the small wins that I can do to start building up my momentum? And then step three is once you start making that progress slowly over time, you start thinking about where do I want to be, you know, three, five years from now? If I stay on this path, what is it going to allow me to make possible that also is going to be something I can inspire other people with too? And then we start thinking about like, what are some of the additional things that I want? What are some additional things that I want to implement? And it's not a one time all at once. It's a little baby step a little bit at a time. And every week, every month, you keep elevating this plan and you get to be the type of person who just takes these actions and you don't have to worry about changing everything in your life. You have, it's just you did it incrementally. So those are the three steps that I highly encourage you to when you're thinking about how do I get out of rock bottom? Now, of course, I want to talk about like, make sure your mindset's on point. And then once, once that's the case, ask for help, then figure out what your short-term goals and actions are. And then once you start building up, then you can get into more longer-term actions. Now, I'm going to ask Teresa about some of the things that she uses, but we're all different. We all have different ways that we use, whether it's resources or podcasts or books or whatever that thing is to help us. I don't want you to think that this is just a one size fit all from here. Maybe what are some of the things in the past that have helped you the most get you unstuck or get you more clear? But I want to pass it to you. What are some things that you found? Yeah, one of the biggest things for me has been personal development, like books and just different resources that way, because learning new skills really gets me fired up to build off of like who it is that I want to be. And, you know, if I feel like I'm stuck, if I feel like I've hit rock bottom, there's always these, you know, great books and just people out there who have gone through it and who have the path, like they can show you kind of the path that you can take. And, And a lot of times it's an actual person. So it's a mentor. It's someone who has hit rock bottom or who has gone through those tough challenges and obstacles that can give you some tips. And of Mm -hmm. course, you know, whatever they did may not apply to you. However, they can show you some of like the philosophies that they leaned into or some of the things that they did that you may be able to do in your own way. So I think those are the biggest ones for me. Yeah, I, I really love that. I also think like the whole personal development, personal growth, right? Whenever I'm growing, I feel like I'm more excited. I'm more motivated. I'm taking more action. And really what it is, is I'm becoming someone different, yeah. right? We have the be, do, have process kind of like reversed. We think once we have the time, 
then we'll be able to do those actions. And when we do those actions of exercising, then we're going to become somebody different in the process. And what I found with personal growth is completely backwards. Yeah. You actually become somebody different. When you become somebody different, you start taking those actions by default because that's what you normally do. And then once you do those activities, then you get to have all those things that you want. Mm-hmm. That's how I lost 100 pounds, right? People always wanted to ask me, Mark, how did you lose 100 pounds? And they always want to get into like the, what are some of the actions that I took? Mm-hmm. But one of the things they never asked me is who the person was that I had to become. That's who the real person is that was able to lose 100 pounds because I became somebody else different in the process. And when you're able to do this, when you're able to tap into your rock bottom and use it to propel you forward and to take massive action, you too, my friend, will become somebody else different in the process. But it takes time. It takes patience. This is not an overnight success. But I know that because you want to actually make a huge impact in the world, because you want to show up the way that you want to, you're good for it because this is what you do. And this is what leaders do. They don't become leaders in the easy times. They become leaders in the hard times. Now, you know you're willing to do that. And I appreciate you so much for doing that. So thank you for leading from the front. Go out there, crush your rock bottom. And I'd love to hear below what you were able to do, not only as a result of this video, but also the things that you've personally been through, because I know that you have a lot to share and we'd love to all hear it too. So you guys have an incredible day and we'll see you real soon. Bye, everybody. Bye.